Take a look at this mock-up, it's a good one. Generally, you would have the entire top of the block bevel, but this was a two by four, it wasn't enough. But you see how it dies in to the side of where the rafter runs through the plate. And then looking straight down on it, you can see the point of the corner beneath. And then if you pull the whole thing up and flip it over, same thing, you see the point of the corner. But you'll see the length of the rafter is longer than that of the heel stand. That is to say it's cut to here, but the heel stand is calculated three quarters of an inch back on the level on a two by four. And why is that? And the answer is because it's an inch and a half thick and this little triangle here, it's a 45 degree angle because it's a 90 degree corner with a 45, whatever happens on one leg of the right triangle happens on the other. So this is an inch and a half. So half of it's three quarters of an inch and then three quarters of an inch on the level. On the level, draw a line and that's where you establish your heel stand height. So your blocks will slide right in and fit, see? Like that, and then you wanna line up that with the outside of the building when you stack it. So you're standing over it. If you're, if you're framing from the top plates, you can draw two lines on the top plate or you can just draw one line on the side of your raft and slide it over to the line flushes out with plywood around here, plywood. So two by four wall, half inch plywood, four inches. You can give yourself a full four inch sheet cut on your commons or not. It doesn't much matter how you all do it, but flush it to the outside, toenail it. And then this is, this is how it stacks at the top. And uh, you'll notice the side of rafter, which is the same side flushes out with the heel stand. That is to say side of rafter, heel stand, side of leading edge of common rafter makes this incline triangle which corresponds with this level triangle see yep